humans, I'm Mr. King. Chemical reaction topic. So first, equilibrium. So what is the definition of this term? Okay, and it is always a two marks question. So first, the rate of forward reaction is the same as the rate of backward reaction. The concentration of reactants and product remain unchanged. Okay, and there are also three factors that will affect the position of equilibrium. For example, pressure, temperature, and concentration. So in terms of pressure, okay, increase in pressure will always favors the side with lesser mode. Decrease in pressure favors the side with higher mode. In terms of temperature, increase in temperature favors endothermic reaction. Decrease in temperature favors exothermic reaction. Whereas for concentration, it is always from a side with higher concentration to lower concentration. Let's say example, the equation given here is say hydrogen reacts with nitrogen to form ammonia gas. Okay, and this is an example of reversible reaction. Okay, and it is represented by this symbol. Okay, which means they are forward reaction and backward reaction. All right, given here the forward reaction is exothermic. So first. What will happen if there is an increase in pressure? And we know that pressure affects the position based on the numbers of moles. Okay, so first you have to compare the numbers of moles on left hand side. Right hand side, you see, left hand side, 3 and 1. So total, 4. Okay, right hand side, 2. So it's based on here, we know that, see, left hand side, 4, right hand side, 2. And we know that increase in pressure favors the side with lesser mole. Therefore, you see, right hand side, it has lesser mode. Therefore, position of equilibrium is shift to the right. Alright, okay, next. So, what will happen okay, if the temperature decreases? Okay, see, if forward reaction is exothermic, means backward reaction is endothermic. And we know that decrease in temperature favors exothermic reaction, which is forward reaction. Therefore, position of equilibrium shift to the right. Alright, okay, isn't it easy? Sub sub soy la. Okay, next, rate of reaction, okay, which is also the speed of the reaction. So, there are four factors that affect the rate of reaction, which are temperature, particle size, concentration, and catalyst. So, how temperature affects the rate of reaction? See, example, as the temperature increases, the particles gain energy and move faster. Therefore, the collision rate increases and particles that have sufficient energy to react. Therefore, the rate of reaction increases. In terms of particle size, okay, powder form is always better. Why? It is because of the greater surface area. Okay, therefore, the collision rate increases and increase in rate of reaction. Next one, concentration. See, increase in concentration and therefore, the numbers of particles per unit volume increases. Eventually, the collision rates of particles increases. Rate of reaction increases. Okay, last one, catalyst. So first, what is the definition of catalyst? Okay, catalyst it is a substance that speeds up the rate of reaction and remains unchanged. Okay, you have to remember the definition of catalyst. So how catalyst speed up the rate of reaction? Okay, by lowering the activation energy. That's it. Alright, next one, redox reaction. Okay, redox reaction means reactions that have oxidation and reduction happen simultaneously. So what happens during oxidation? Okay, oxidation happens when the compound gains oxygen, loses electrons, or there is an increase in oxidation number. Whereas for reduction, again, the compound loses oxygen, gains electron, or there is a decrease in oxidation number. Okay, so there's one more thing to take note. Okay, compounds that undergo oxidation, okay, they are called reducing agent. Those that undergo reduction, they are called oxidizing agent. So for your information, okay, electrolysis is an example of redox reaction. Okay, remember this, see, CIO, crowd. Okay, which means you see at cathode it is always reduction, at anode it is always oxidation. That's easy. There are two popular oxidizing agents that you have to know. Okay, first one acidified potassium manganese seven solution. 
and acidify potassium dichromic 6. Important, you have to remember these two, okay, together with their color changes. For acidified potassium magnesium 7, okay, the color changes is from purple to colorless. For acidified potassium dichromic 6, the color changes from orange to green. Right, that's it. Super easy. Alright, thanks. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you again. Bye.